This video explains how adaptive coding and modulation on the forward link maximizes the efficiency of the HTS network. Within the coverage area of the satellite beam, vessels will experience different link conditions that affect the signal strength, also referred to as signal-to-noise ratio. For example, the signal is strongest at the center of the beam and weakens as you approach the edge. Bad weather can also degrade the signal. On the HTS network, each vessel reports its current signal-to-noise ratio, or SNR, with every transmission. The hub will then deliver traffic to that vessel using the most efficient modulation and error correction coding its SNR can support. As conditions change, the mod code changes accordingly. Let's run through an example to see how this works. Vessels A and D are enjoying clear skies and they're near the center of the beam. Therefore, their SNR is high and they receive traffic on a very efficient 16 APSK mod code. Vessels F and E are progressively further away, so they're using 8PSK and QPSK respectively due to the lower SNR. Vessel B is in a similar coverage area as Vessel F, but additional error correction is needed to compensate for rain fade. Conditions are even worse for Vessel C. Now let's see what happens when vessels move and conditions change. Vessels A and D continue to operate near the center of the beam in good weather so their mod codes remain unchanged. Vessels E and F, however, have moved even closer to the edge of the beam, where the signal is weakest. Therefore, they have switched to more robust mod codes. We can expect these vessels to soon transfer to an adjacent spot beam. Vessel B is also approaching the edge of the beam, and the storm has increased in severity. In this worst-case scenario, a very robust mod code is needed to maintain the link. Conversely, at Vessel C's location, the storm has passed. As its SNR improves, it switches to a highly efficient mod cod. As you can see, the hub is dynamically optimizing the link for every vessel on the network, maximizing bandwidth efficiency. This concludes our brief overview of adaptive coding and modulation, a key advantage of the MiniVSAT Broadband HTS network.